A lot of uh, small nations that you underrate in AFCON have so far pulled a surprise in their performances over there in Cameroon. Not forgetting Gambia, who did well against a team that was far more formidable than that team called Guinea, uh, Gambia. But they did well against Guinea. Good one there. Now, welcoming you on 360 Sport on Trust TV. I am Adeni Ajishafe. You look at the fact that Senegal will be facing another nation who we want to refer to as a minnow in football. But no more minnow. Kivad, can they also surprise Senegal just the way Gambia surprised uh, Guinea? Why Malawi will also want to make a statement against Morocco. Well, would that be possible as the matches are be coming up today in AFCON? Joining me is uh, Olawale Peters. Good to have you once again. It's my pleasure to be back to the studio. Mm. Now, let's look at matches for today. Uh, uh, well, so far, the, the word Minos is no longer existing now because they've surprised everyone. Gambia did well. In fact, Komoro did so well against Cameroon. Now, Kivad Malawi. They'll be playing against uh, Senegal and also Morocco today in the fixture that will be coming up. And also, other Senegal, Cape Verde will be, uh, as we speak right now, should be on. The Morocco, Malawi, Senegal, Cape Verde. Okay, why didn't you add Tunisia surprise in Nigeria also? No, that's, that's, that is a surprise. <laughs> the, on the reason also, why I don't want to put, uh, we, we should be coming to that particular story. So that's why, let me start from the beginning <laughs> okay, before we uh, go to the middle. Okay, okay good, uh, good one there. Okay, um, I think um, it's, it would be a very, it's a good development we are seeing in African football now. Uh, we saw what Comoros did with Cameroon yesterday. We saw what Gambia did with Guinea yesterday. We saw what happened between Burkina Faso also and Gabon. So, Gabon. so that is the, 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 the face of football is changing in Africa. And the Senegalese, we shouldn't write them off. They've played three matches. They've not been fantastic so far, but they, they are the only team that is yet to concede a goal. So that means defensively, they are doing very well. They've scored only one goal so far. So because they won one and they drew two. The two matches they drew, they didn't um, score, they score any. And the one, the one that they won, it was a penalty. So no uh, field play, not that they created the chances. So that means up front, they are not doing very well. Then uh, for the Cape Verde also, they will get their motivation from, from Gambia. what Gambia did, even from what Comoros did. As far as I'm concerned, Comoros so far, they are my team of the tournament. They went and they bowed out with pride. They've done their country proud, sincerely. So I think the Cape Verde also, they are going to do the same thing today. So it's going to be a very tough match um, for, for the Senegalese to win. They've started, so let's see how it's going to end. But the two teams need to be very careful. Careful in the sense that um, for the four matches that have been played in the round of 16, we've seen five yellow cards. I mean, sorry, five red cards. So that means there's no match without a red card. Burkina Faso and Gabon, red card was given. Nigeria and Tunisia, red card was given. And Cameroon and then Comoros, red card was given. So they have to be very careful. So they have to be very, very, very careful because the game, the game is becoming more physical. Everybody wants to, to win. win. And if you should allow that to happen, it's going to kill, it's going to kill the morale of other players. Though some teams, except Nigeria, they find strength when they are one man down. We saw Comoros yesterday. Com Comoros, they were so, uh, if, as if there was no uh, red, uh, card. red card. Yes. They play as if they were actually 11 players on yes. the pitch. So that's why I say some, some uh, teams, they, they get the strength when they are even one man down. Why some teams, when they are one man down, everything will just collapse. But for them to see the beautiful game, to, uh, today, they should try and be conscious not to have any red card. At least, let's see 11 level from beginning to, to the, the end. end of the game. Now, from the way it is, would you rate, uh, would you say, okay, um, Malawi, Kevad will win their games? No, um, I think... Uh, are swapping maybe one, one big nation uh, will win. Uh, I, I, I think, I don't, want, I don't want it to look as if because Nigeria is out, I want all the big the big, uh, guys, the to big guys to leave, Morocco to leave, looking at what they've in invested and their preparation for the tournament. Then also Senegalese also, they have the star and they have what it takes. So I see one of them crashing out. Either Senegal or Morocco, one of them will Most crash drop. out. One of them will go out. Uh, that would be nice because uh, uh, so far, we've, now we have Gambia. Yes. As among all the four, Burkina Faso, Cameroon, Gambia, 
and you have uh, uh, now you, you can uh, Tunisia now among all the four now Gambia seems to be the smallest. Yeah. So they need another at least a companion to join them the, from the small the, nation. Maybe Malawi, Malawi is not as if they are small, but because they are not rated as a football nation, then you have. Uh, uh, the team Kevard, who we know they can spring up surprise. They did this against Nigeria yes. where we play 4 4. So it's not a, a fluke or it's not a, uh, a shock. It would be a shock to me if they defeat Senegal. Yeah, their 4 4 is like they came back. Yes, behind, they, they, we were leading. leading. We were four, leading them. 4 1, 4 2, 4 3, 4 4. So if they can derive their motivation from, from that, that game, from that game, sincerely, I see them edging out. Uh, and uh, Senegal. Senegal. Senegal, and at least it would be a good, uh, a good thing for Georgian club to have money back uh, to, 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 his, uh, to, team. to his team. Yeah, so um, I'm very sure tonight there will be a surprise, either Malawi or Cape Verde, but I'm tending towards Cape Verde more than Malawi to hedge Senegal out. Hmm. Well, for Morocco versus Malawi, that game, uh, you, if you want to look at it, you want to give it to Morocco because of the fact that we're so far, all the North Africans that came to this competition, Morocco seems to stand out most. Yes. Aside, yes. Uh, ahead of Egypt, Egypt, ahead of Tunisia or Algeria. Algeria, they are out. Tunisia, yeah, they are there. They are Egypt, they too. They, are not, they don't know what's going to happen between them and Cote d'Ivoire. It's a very dicey game by the time they play. So, for Morocco, Malawi, you can tilt towards Morocco a bit. Yes, I but can. But Nigeria actually play. We play three games. We won and yes. we're out. It's not about the number of matches you play you or play you so won far. during the. It's about it's the what current happened. one. It's about your psyche as at that time. It's about your mentality. It's about your attitude and your concentration as at that time that you are playing. That really matters. Despite not having Ziyech, Hakim, yet they are doing well. Talking Very about well. Morocco. Uh, although he's, he also is uh, trying his best with Chelsea, at least he was able to score a goal over the weekend. But you look at, despite, it's just like Nigeria not having, okay, we didn't have Osime, we didn't have uh, uh, Dennis, and we were still able to perform well in our three matches. Uh, I bet the last one that we lost was very painful. Maybe we should have transferred one of the winning against Sudan and Guinea Bissau <laughs> to the one we get against Tunisia. So painful. <laughs> you know the reason why that match was so painful? Before the competition, we don't have hope on the at Indies. all. Then no the host are there building. The first match against Egypt, they gave us hope. Our second match, we're like, wow, we so landed. We have a team. The third match, oh, we even have a bench that can do something. And all of a sudden, they all the, 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 the dropped the card. I listened to a government interview yesterday. He said he was sure that we would beat Tunisia. And because HUK didn't play very well, in the last match, that was why he didn't include him as part of the team that will play even on the bench. If not, we will have preferred Eduke to come in as a substitute. I don't understand. Uh, well, so I, you've I, won I, a match I, before you play that match. With what is happening at the Afcon, well, um, let's. I, I think if I if I want to look at it this way, uh, well, we are human. We make mistakes. Uh, for him to even admit, you know, it takes a strong person to admit mistakes. Some people don't want to admit when they make errors. But for him to have come, okay, I should have feel that I made a mistake by not feel the HK. Well, uh, he has done well, but it's, this is not the time to say, oh, this is, it doesn't matter. It's gone and it's gone. Now I looked at the likes of Onyekuru. Uh, feel us from the camp, from the uh, training shows that Oyekura has been fantastic. It's also part of the mistake because he wasn't, he didn't play. Uh, he, should, he should have been fielded. A lot of people are looking at, okay, the, the uh, sport reporters that were there, seeing what they do while they are training, were like, okay, Oyekura should have come in and all that. But no matter what we analyze or say now, it's late. Nothing can happen. The only thing now, let's build on what we, okay, we are going to be facing Ghana. Ghana and Nigeria both are wounded stars and, and <laughs> eagles. So, <laughs> so you, know, you, know, you, know, you know the reason why I think it's better we we'll still discuss this a bit mm. so that he will realize the mistake. Yeah, we are and, coming there. And I gave, I gave it to him also mm. sincerely. He said he regretted yes. not putting in. So that is a very good virtue a strong, of a leader. Yes, a strong a, man. A very few people will make will a mistake. And will ask. He came out and he said he regretted. Mm. To that, I give it to him if he's a fast and he has done well. Sincerely, Iguavon has done well and we don't need to start criticizing him or the team for now. They need our support. 
Seriously, they need our support now. We'll still be coming to a Guavon later, but let's quickly talk about the women. Nigerian Women Football League uh, match this seems to be happening. The midweek match will be coming up uh, today. Quickly, let's look at the fixtures as Nigeria tells of Abuja will be hosting Nasarawa Amazons uh, in that place. Uh, Nasarawa Amazon travel down to Abuja to play against Nigeria Tell there. We have uh, Adamawa Queens against Pelican Stars. Uh, those Queens will be hosting Oshun Bill at the Samuel Lugumudia Stadium over there in Bini. Why Adamawa Queens be hosting Pelican Stars as Pantami Stadium in Gombe. In Group B, you have Delta Queens, they play host to Royal Queens of Wari. In the Derby over there in Asaba Township Stadium, Sunshine Queens of Akure will be hosting Abia Angels at Akure Township Stadium, while Rivers Angels travel to play against Bayelsa Queens as Nembe, Nembe uh, Township uh, Stadium. There, those are the matches uh, Bayelsa Queens, Rivers Angels, Sunshine Queens, Abia Angels, Delta Queens, Royal Queens. You have uh, Edo Queens, Ocean Bays, Adamawa Queens versus Pelican Stars and Nasarawa Amazons here in Abuja against Nigeria Tells. We look at two out of this match, Nigeria Tells versus Nasarawa Amazon here in Abuja. It will be at Area 10 ground. If you love women football, go there. Even if you don't love women football, go there and watch. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I think it's a, it's a very good call um, mm. for people to go out, out there and give them the necessary support. support you know, when they are playing and they, they look at the crowd among them, showing them it's up, them. it will motivate them a lot. So I think we have to go there also yes. to, to watch the to match, support. to support and give them the support. So I think Nasarawa, um, Amazon, Amazon Nigeria, Nigeria. Nigeria. So I think uh, Nasarawa, um, I see them winning. I see them winning. Okay, I'll be, tilting, winning I'll be tilting towards uh, Nigeria. <laughs> Nigeria okay. So let's move <laughs> so in. So I think we can balance it. We can balance the situation. Let's not be biased there. While well, we look at another one, it's going to be a derby between uh, Delta Queens and Royal Queens. Royal Queens are in Wari. Delta Queens are in Asaba. Asaba, Asaba Wari, they are in Delta State. What's the way? So uh, that's going to be a very good, a very good uh, debut match. Debut match between Asaba and Wari. Delta Queens and, Delta and Royal Queens. Queens. And Royal Queens. So um, and you know Wari, they say they never carry last. Mm -hmm. so, they won't, they won't want to admit. So they won't want to admit that one. So this time around also, I think they won't want to carry carry last. So we are expecting to see a very fantastic um, football and for people also to go out there. I think that's what they need. They need that support. They need that motivation. Motivation doesn't come uh, when it comes in terms of money all the time. Seeing people supporting you, giving you a pat at the back that, oh, you're doing very well. Clap. Uh, clap for all you. All the noise. When, all all the the no eh, eh, oh, doing well. So I think they really need that, and I'm expected to see that when the uh, the the fight of the queens happens and today. Okay, good one there. We just looked at the NWFL match day six that will be coming up in at least six different centers uh, today. Asaba will be the place also. Pantami Stadium in Gombe State. Just have to give it up also for Nigeria Test who will be playing against uh, Nasarawa Amazon today also. That will be coming up live in Abuja area. Ten playground as we speak. That match uh, is uh, right now ongoing there. Well, quickly, we also have to look at uh, a particular issue came up after Nigerian play against uh, uh, Tunisia and we lost that game a lot of Nigerians attacked they've been attacking online physically and all that don't I think it's not unnecessary it's not necessary at all because these same players that played uh, that Tunisia game that we are, are throwing stone at them they did well also against Egypt Sudan and Guinea Bissau so we shouldn't at least bury them overnight just because of that game I saw a lot of uh, 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 angry words, a lot of uh, offensive statements That's coming right. on Twitter, WhatsApp, Instagram, different social media handles attacking this player. In fact, death threat coming towards Maduka Koye. Uh, even the coach, Iguavon, was being booed when they were entering the bus. I saw the video. All these are not good for our football at all. When I saw that and I asked myself a question, what do they want the Algerian team? team the defending champion. Defending champion. They are number one. I think there are some things that it's not necessarily that we do a lot. Are we now encouraging or motivating uh, the players and the coach? So as, uh, as far as I'm concerned, they've done very well. It is not their wish. As we speak, it will be hard to deactivate his account Can't, on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, Maduka Akwe deactivated his comment section because of the Output, a lot of a lot of emotions coming in now. Uh, they were, a lot of uh, unprintable words after the uh, uh, young lad. I think I think we need to learn how to control our emotion. Sincerely, nobody is more pain than the player themselves, because their hope. I mean, the mission of going there is not to crash out of uh, round of sixteen, is to win the cup. 
but it's, a, it's, it's either you win or you, or lose. you lose. And when you, when you lost the match, you come back to the drawing board. We shouldn't be talking about how this time. We should be talking about our preparation against Ghana come next month. So I think it's totally uncalled for and we all need to come out and to strongly, strongly go against. And uh, this issue, we don't, we don't need it. We don't need it at I, all. I at recall all. the same thing happened to a Gallo when he, he received, his family received their threat. That was yeah. what made him to say, okay, I'm no longer playing. playing for and now look at Okoye, Iwobi. All these guys are being attacked. The coach, although a Guavon is a thick skinned person, uh, somebody from a dose, they don't give uh, <laughs> uh, much. Uh, they, they're kind of very strong. So uh, not everyone could withstand such abusive words coming from people that are face to face. Face to face, they may not be able to say those things to you, to and then they keep attacking and saying things that could demoralize. I think it's high time. It's high time, and um, all sports lovers should come out and condemn, in strong words, all these unnecessary threats. Mm. We don't need them. It doesn't build us together. The first three matches that they played, they played very well, and we all clapped for them. And the fact that they didn't win against Tunisia, we didn't. It's not that they play Comoroso. It's not that they play uh, yeah, in Gab because Gabon. Because they were not expecting because, that. But no. it's no, it's, it's, it's a game football. of football. You win some and you lose some. And it's the best way to motivate them is it by threatening them. Now, if all the players they said, Oh, we're not playing again because of this death threat, the next match we are going to play we against Ghana new, against, new against Ghana, players. we need to get so we, we, don't, we don't really need it. And I think the uh, the authority also, I'm talking about the uh, police authority, they have to start investigating most of these death threats against the players. Most At of least when two, three people are being picked three? up, yes. why are you tweeting why you or why are you sending this on? Yes. I want to, because of football, so if I you were to be in the that. shoe of those players and somebody is threatening you that way that he's going to kill you or he's going to kill your family, how would you feel? So do you think Sadiq Kumar was happy for losing that ball? Or do you oh. think Alex Wobi was happy for getting a red card? They, they were crying. I saw Moses crying. I saw lying. All of them were crying. Were they were crying. Not, they, Definitely. It, those cries were not crocodile tears. No. They were real. No, so real. It's, it's our time we control our emotions when it comes to Although We also had a story where, is this really alone there about that they went to destroy a player's home? Uh, police has to be called to come and at least barricade the place. Although they got there before the police, before they were being uh, chased away. Uh, to They want to burn down the house. I don't know how, although I remember, uh, was it in, Cam uh, sorry, uh, Colombia, where they killed their player, Escobar. As Escobar. Well, that's a very painful one for Escobar to have lost his life just because of football. You shouldn't I have think that one is not because, it's because of betting. Mm, okay. It's because of, it's because uh, well. of betting. So, and <laughs> I think maybe those people that are doing the same thing here, maybe they put a lot of money on Naira Bet and or then, Bet Niger. Uh, no, and it's, 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 a, it's uncalled for. So, seriously, uh, seriously for. we need to be very careful the way we react to so matches being played. Yes, we're a good fan, but we shouldn't be bad losers. It's not good at all for our football. Now, uh, coming to talk about our coach, Augustine Guavoin, uh, according to Oladimi Gilawale, former a player of Nigeria, maybe Maestro, uh, says, let Iguavon continue as Super Eagles coach, according to Oladimi Gilawa. Do you stand by this? I, like I agree with him 100%. Hmm. I agree with him 100%. You know, before the competition, we don't have a team, we don't have a pattern, we don't have a style, but he created it. Now we have some, we have a team. Now we have a pattern of play, and the mistake he made when our two wingers, that Simon Moses and, and Chukwe, Chukweze, has been marked out done in that competition is to make sure to create another avenue for people in the midfield. Mm. Let's collapse the wing. The same thing happened in USA 94 when Daniel Amokachi and Amunike were marked out against Italy. We lost that match. That would have been the first time we'll be entering and we'll be qualifying for the quarterfinal. So this is the second time that it's happened to us and it has learned from that. That's a lesson for us to see that, okay, if the wings of the wingers are being clicked, Clip. let's see how we can reopen our Reopen, wing. yes. And I think that's what he did by bringing in Alex Wobi to start operating from, from the, the midfield, midfield before the unfortunate red card. So I think to be sincere and to be honest, I'll give it to Egoavon. Let him continue to build on what he has started. We don't need to bring in someone else to, for us so to, go play, and start his to start own. his own style or... No. Let's continue with this. I agree with him. Let's give Iguavon, let's give him a chance. Hmm. I'm sure in the, if Iguavon continues like this, in the next one or two years, we'll have the Super Eagles of those days. We'll have the Super Eagles that we can be proud of. Oh. We'll have Super Eagles that me and you can sit down and say this will be our first eleven, and they'll be our first level based on performance. Hmm. So that's what Iguavon has shown that you can, you can play if you merit to be played. 
as far as I'm concerned, you should give it to him. Just give him some, let him go Time. for some uh, technical training, how to read game. Then we need game leaders in that, in that, in that team. We need someone to read the game because the government was busy giving out instruction. That's not the instruction. I told this says Alice Yusuf, I was there. So at least as a match reader, you should have, okay, let's do it. Although at times, you could actually read a game and maybe you are telling your boss that, okay, why don't we do like And you see now that, you know, form by saying, no, wait, wait. You, know, you can read the game very well. Sure. But uh, all the actions, the rules and regulations will still lie on the governance at that moment. Even, even Salis Yusuf was like, okay, let's pull this person. If a government don't feel like you go back, we've seen we've seen in uh, in club club matches football, yes, in the club matches in football that the assistant coach will go and meet the the, the reader the, the, the reader and said what do you think this is they will go uh, you see them again coming back even the commentator will said oh they are putting eggs Head together. together the fact that the government said no doesn't mean you go and sit down and accept it's only Yobo that we saw Coming on that up, day, standing, and standing trying up, to trying to. So I think the government needs support. So we should look for people that have that attribute and gi and, and give him to support him. Automatically, too. you are saying you wish a government continue, just like Olad Miglawa said. Yes, yes. Good one there. We've been looking at. We reviewed if uh, Olad Miglawa, according to what he said, that government should be, uh, let him continue as a coach of Super Eagles. Hopefully, this will continue to generate more support from Nigerians. We are all all try to uh, support our own. We can do it also. Nigerian coaches are good enough to think her the thing the tank of super egos now we go to the last uh, uh, straw on the show talking about a former player who said is uh, why always me mario balotelli has been recalled by roberto mancini to the italian team uh, since 2018 he wasn't there but now he's back at the age of 31. look at this <laughs> he now plays in turkey yeah. and now he's back to that team yeah, why always me? And I think uh, Manc Mancini has so much confidence in Mario Balotelli. Mm. And they are together at Inter Milan, together at Manchester, Man City. Manchester City also. So I he think knows he, him he knows him out. very well. And to be sincere, um, Balotelli, apart from his attitude, is one of the best and deadliest striker, striker. we have. And lately he has, been, he has been more mature, calmer than you before. Know, age comes with maturity uh -huh. at times, so I think he has seen it all so calling him back for their match against North uh, Macedonia, Macedonia. That, they are, that they are playing, I think it's a very good one because this time around, they need it. They need it. It's not about, it's about who can deliver and for who them to go, to, to, the World go to the World Cup. So I think it's a very good call and it's going to justify the reason why he was called, just like he did in Manchester City when he scored and said, why always, always me? me? That's uh, Mario Balotelli. That will be the last draw on the show. 360 Spot on Trust TV. It's been a good one with Olawale. Uh, Peter, it's good to have you once again. It's always a pleasure to be here. It's so sad that we'll be talking about sports, analyzing sports, AFCON, without talking Nigeria. about Nigeria. <laughs> that's, that's football, you know. We just have to accept <laughs> it as come and gone. Nigeria will get it right against Ghana. Hopefully, we'll go to Qatar 2022. That's it on 360 Sports. I am Adeni Ajishafe. Thanks for watching.